I'm Lizzie Clem, and I'll be interviewing my brother Johnny today. What did you do after you left us? I started following the 22nd Michigan Infantry Regiment so I could help the country and make a difference. And I left because, well, Lizzie, you know things were hard at home. I don't know, Johnny. Well, Papa didn't know how you got in the way. And what were you doing all that time when you said you were going to school? Lizzie, you know I was never any good at school. I'd already gone for four years, which is more than the other kids my age. I was the oldest one at the primary school, except for a couple of girls. I didn't need school. I needed to fight. We all thought you ran away because Mama died. Well, I guess it was a reason, but not the main one. I went and tried to enroll myself. They said I was too young and I wouldn't do much good. But I tagged along anyway, and nobody stopped me. I stayed out of the way until I was 12. That's when I could officially enroll myself, Lizzie. I got paid $13 a month, and I was given my own musket and uniform. Um, the musket isn't much. I couldn't hold it at first, and they had to cut it down to my size. But as twisted as it may be, I'm happy now, going into battle with the 22nd. I'm not much of a fighter. My age keeps me from doing any real harm. Dumb is about the only thing I can do, but I still feel like I'm helping the country. But Johnny, you never seem to care about slavery. Oh, I know. I'm not fighting to end slavery. I'm fighting for this country, Lizzie. If slavery is going to tear us apart, then it has to end, but I'm just here to fight. I remember the Battle of Shiloh, where my drumming almost got me killed. I was on the sidelines drumming the usual tunes when a cannon shell hit the ground in front of me. The shards flew into my drum, and I was knocked unconscious. Lizzie, I'm lucky to be alive. So that's where you got your nickname? Johnny Shiloh? We saw the headlines in the paper and wondered what happened. Yup. But Shiloh was nothing compared to Chickamauga. After Shiloh, I started to carry my musket, and boy did it come in handy. I was retreating after the other men, and a Confederate colonel tried to stop me. He said something like, Surrender, you damned Yankee. And when he tried to shoot me, I fired. I was so shocked when he fell down dead, and I stood there in the middle of the battlefield just staring at him. And then I remembered where I was. I had to sprint back to camp. Johnny, you could have been killed. How does it feel, I mean, well, how does it feel to have killed a man? Uh, well, oh, I don't really know, Lizzie. I mean, I don't think about it much. But when I do, I'm so confused by what I've done. I mean, I did it for the Union, and I don't feel as bad about it as I should have. Johnny, I just don't see why you think fighting is going to get us anywhere. Well, why is fighting important? What's it going to do? Oh, Lizzie, this war is going to change everything. I can feel it. It'll prove that the North is strong, and if they can fight, it'll bring us together again. That's great, but what you gonna do when the war's over? You live for this war now. I don't know what you'll do without it. I, I know you won't come home. Well, you're probably right. All I know is that I'm gonna serve this country to my fullest. When the war's over, I'm gonna see what they want to do with me. I'll fight for as long as I can, and I'll be a hero by the time this war's over. You'll see. But what's going to happen to this country when the war's over? I don't know, Lizzie. This country will need to be pieced back together pretty good. And I plan to help do that. I'll bring this country together again. How are you going to do that? You're just one boy. Not much older than me. Lizzie, I don't rightly know. But the men in this country are strong and determined. I've seen that in this war. I want to be just like them. They'll bring this country together. I know it. And I'm going to help, too. This war has already changed me. I can feel it. Lizzie, I've seen men die, and I've killed a man myself. General Thomas says I'm too young for the things I've seen. But I've seen them, and I can't go back. I'm going to help this country, because it has already seen enough, and it doesn't need to see any more. Do you think the South will win? No. The North will. How do you know? I just do. The North has... It has the spirit. I don't know. The North has a spirit that nobody else has. When I'm in battle with the soldiers, they all have a look in their eye. And I know that they're willing to die for this country. And if they die, I sure honor them. They fought for this country. Johnny, I sure am proud of you.